Hi everyone, welcome back to channel. This video is about transient analysis of RL series circuit. In previous video, I had discussed that how the inductor behaves during the transition from one state to another state when it is switched on or switched off. We had seen that the inductor behaves as short circuit under steady state and it opposes the instantaneous change in current. I had also written the formula to find out the expression of current through the inductor which was IL infinity plus IL0 minus IL infinity into E raised to a minus T by tau. Tau is time constant of RL circuit given as L by R equivalent. In this video, I will be solving three different problems to illustrate that how we can analyze the circuits during their transition from one state to another state. Let us start with the first problem. The statement is the network shown in figure is under steady state when switch is closed at t equal to 0 switch is opened obtain i of t for t greater than 0. Now the circuit is we have a current source 10 kilo ohm resistance this resistance has value 4 kilo ohm here we have a switch which is opened at t equal to 0 an inductor and here we have again a resistance now we know that we need to use this formula to find out the current it since current it is the current through the inductor this inductor is having value 4 milli henry we need to find out i infinity we need to find out i l 0 so we have three steps step one is before switching where we will find out i 0 before switching we have to draw the circuit inductor switch is closed this switch is closed over here three resistances now how the inductor behaves during steady state inductor behaves as short circuit and this network is in under steady state when switch is closed so it means we have to replace this inductor by short circuit now we will find out that what is the current through this inductor so inductor which is now replaced by short circuit that is in parallel with 8 kilo ohm resistance when inductor is in parallel with a uh, short circuit is in parallel with 8 kilo ohm so this circuit will be replaced by a simpler 
case where we have 10 kilo ohm 4 kilo ohm and this is the inductor 8 kilo ohm resistance is now short circuited we have to find out current i0 i0 can be found by applying current division rule now what current division rule suggests that i0 is equal to 4 that is source current into opposite branch resistance 10 into 10 raised to the power 3 and in denominator 10 kilo ohm plus 4 kilo ohm 4 plus 10 into 10 raised to the power 3 which will give us the value of i0 as 2.857 amperes this is the value of i0 now second step is after switching we need to check that how the circuit behaves after switching after switching we have a source in parallel with the resistance then second resistance and this switch is now open here we have inductor and here we have 8 kilo ohm resistance now we do not have any source across this inductor this side is totally open these are the inductor terminals in series with the inductor we have 8 kilo ohm resistance but we do not have any source since we do not have any source so ultimately the current through the inductor will fall to zero due to absence of any source in this circuit the final current through the inductor is zero next step is we have to find out time constant now time constant tau is l by r equivalent now what is r equivalent r equivalent is the equivalent resistance seen from inductor terminals and this one is corresponding to the after switching conditions so after switching we have to draw the equivalent circuit again 4 kilo ohm switch is open these are the inductor terminals here we have 8 kilo ohm resistance 10 kilo ohm current source has to be replaced by open circuit from here we have to calculate our equivalent now what is the equivalent resistance between these two terminals that is only 8 kilo ohm so our equivalent is a single resistance that is 8 kilo ohm since from this side circuit is open it is no, not connected with this 4 kilo ohm so tau is L 4 milli Henry 4 into 10 is to power minus 3 8 kilo ohm 8 into 10 is to power 3 so it is 1 by 2 into 10 is to power minus 6 seconds now substitute all these values in the expression of i l which was i infinity which we have calculated as 0 plus i 0 i 0 is 2.857 minus i infinity into e raised to power minus t by tau so i l t or i t which was there in case of question it is 2.857 into e raised to power minus 2000 t amperes this is the answer let's move on to second problem so that we can have a better understanding the statement says the switch in figure is open for a long time it is closed at t equal to 0 determine i of t for t greater than 
0. Now the circuit is having a 240 volt source in series with 6 ohm resistance. Here we have 30 ohm a switch 3 ohm and then we have inductor of 2 Henry through which current is I of T and this is switch which is closed at T equal to 0. Again the expression for calculating I of T remains same that is I infinity plus I 0 minus I infinity into e raised to the minus T by tau. We will find out the value of I 0 from before switching conditions, I infinity from after switching conditions and tau again from after switching. So, first step is before switching. Before switching a 240 volt source is connected in series with 6 ohm and 30 ohm while this 3 ohm and 2 Henry they are like this. There is no source connected across 2 Henry resist, uh, inductance that's why current through this is 0 since this this terminal is open. So, I of 0 is 0 initially the current through the inductor is 0. Then second step is after switching. After switching the switch is now closed. Let us redraw the circuit again. So, you need to draw the circuits again and again in order to avoid any confusion. Do not go with your assumption or with your imagination that this is how the circuit will behave. 30 ohm, here we have switch which is closed, 3 ohm. This is the inductor. Now, how the inductor behaves when the switch is closed for a long time? Inductor behaves as short circuit. So, we need to replace this by short circuit and then find out that what is the current through this. Now, we can find out this current by either mesh analysis or by nodal analysis. If we go with mesh analysis, then we have to write two equations and if we go with nodal analysis then we have to solve just one equation. So, I am considering this one as reference. This one is node 1 which is at voltage V. Assuming all the currents leaving the node V minus 240 by 6 is the current through 6 ohm resistance then V minus 0 by 30 or V by 30 is the current through 30 ohm. Then through 3 ohm which is actually I infinity that is V by 3 and this is equal to 0. So, from here we will get the value of V as 75 volts and I infinity which is actually V by 3 that is 25 MPS. Now, we have the value of I 0, we have the value of I infinity as well. We are left with one step that is the calculation of time constant. Time constant tau is L by R equivalent and that is corresponding to the case after switching. After switching, here we have switch which is closed 30 ohm, 6 ohm, 3 ohm. These are the inductor terminals from where we have to find out R equivalent. 240 volt source is replaced by short circuit. So, R equivalent is actually 6 in parallel with 30 
and this combination is in series with 3 ohm which gives us the value of R equivalent as 8 ohm. So, tau which is L by R equivalent L is 2. So, it's 2 by 8 or 1 by 4 second. Now, let's substitute all these values in the expression of I of t which is I infinity plus I 0. I infinity is 25 plus 0 minus 25 into e raised to power minus t by tau. So, answer is 25 into e raised to power minus 4 t amperes. This is answer for current through the inductor for t greater than 0. So, the last problem in this video is in the network shown in figure the switch is initially in position 1 for long time. When it is written for long time, it means the steady state condition have been reached in that position. At t equal to 0, the switch is changed to position 2. Find I of t for t greater than 0. Now, what is there in the network? These are the two positions. Here we have inductor of 1 Henry. And this is I of t, which is already given. Again, we have the same formula to calculate I of t, that is I infinity plus I 0 minus I infinity into e raised to a minus t by tau. First, we need to calculate I 0, that we can calculate from before switching conditions. Before switching, the switch was in position 1. Here we have inductor. Since the circuit was in this position for long time, so, the inductor behaves as short circuit. So, current through this is I0. So, I0 is, it is a simple series case. 20 volt source in series with 10 ohm resistance with simply 2 ampere. Very easy. Second is, after switching. Let us draw the circuit again. Now, the switch is in position 2.
this is 20 ohm 10 ohm and the inductor is of 100 now what we see that we don't have any source connected to inductor after switching when there is no source connected across the inductor so ultimately the current through this inductor will fall to zero inductor will start behaving as an open circuit at the end because the current through this is zero or we can say it's because we don't have any source over here then we have to find out time constant tau which is l by r equivalent again corresponding to the after switching conditions voltage source replaced by short circuit though it will not affect the equivalent resistance since it is not connected to the inductor these are the inductor terminals now r equivalent is a series combination of 20 and 10 ohm, 10 ohm resistance so it is 30 ohm tau is 1 by 30 seconds so i of t is now i infinity that is 0 plus i 0 i 0 was 2 minus i infinity into e raised to power minus t by tau it is 2 into e raised to power minus 30 t amperes so this is how we calculate the current through the inductor during the transition from one state to another state in next video I will solve few more problems on RL series circuit only and after that I will move on to RC series circuit. I hope these problems will help you out in understanding the transient analysis of RL series circuit. If you find this content helpful to you please consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching the video.